Hi, it's Grace again, and I have even another addition to my addition on this binding. And I was talking to my daughter, uh, Chrissy, who is also known as Gypsy on YouTube. Um, and we also, uh, she suggested that we try to um, do this even a little different way because sometimes she uses her designer paper and she doesn't want this to cover up her designer paper so we've also found that if we do it this way I'm just taking a folded piece of paper um, and uh, I'm just going to put a tiny little bead across the bottom uh, of glue mm -hmm. here we go again Okay, try this. Seal this across the bottom. Oops, that's a little much. Like this. Okay. And close that. When it takes it off the bottom, it's not such a big loss as it is. It only affects the length of your tag and not the look of your tag across the top, so that's okay. So then um, we have this, and it's open here, and it's open on the top. And then what you do, unlike this one that I showed you before, take this and just put it right in there. No, nope. here's what we want to do. Yeah, put it in there. I should have uh, done this first got my cart before my horse so put it in there and then take your square tape off or you or glue it and uh, take this side of the flap and put it down like this and if you want to tab it we've also found that by tabbing too far down it causes us insertion problems on our tag so if you're going to tab, uh, cut a tab uh, a slot in there uh, do it up just minimal and then put that down like that and then then do your glue all the way across and seal it oops yep then you do this take that one off and put this one down I'm going to bend it in there a little so it's closer. And press it down to seal the bottom. And to do this. Now you want to make sure that when you put your uh, score tape on your paper, you want to get it as close as possible to this edge so they don't have any loose, um, any loose um, paper there to catch up on. And that way you also have a tag, uh, a pocket, that will fit the same size tag equally well, like, like this, and it's sealed at the bottom. But if you're using designer paper especially, you won't have this on the outside like you do on this one. Whichever way you want to go is fine. This is probably a little faster, but this works really well too. So in addition, so I hope that um, works for you too. I think I'm going to try both ways. And then I also have another idea that I was coming up while I was messing around with that. Um, I um, got to thinking about these little pockets like this. Okay, so on the single, I was doing the single ones like this, and I was trying to figure out how you could do a pocket there and not... Uh, really lose anything on the inside and with this type of a hinge you just really can't do it unless somebody else has thought of a way that uh, they want to share but here's what I came up with what you can do is you can take your piece of paper and you can fold it in half and then score a quarter of an inch on each side or three-eighths or half whichever one you want for spacing on your on your um, does it and uh, then what I was going to do is take this off and line it up with your paper right here 
which of course this would get attached to your card uh, your chipboard spine and I would do it with glue but um, that's my preference and then you just take this off and glue your bottom I always start at the back of my book and work forward I don't know why but that's probably because I'm left-handed but uh, you can reverse this whole order as well I just like to start at the back okay then close this okay and press this down and guess what you got another pocket and this pocket has two hinges and is sealed at the bottom and you can take full tag in there let's see where's our tag here's here's the tag on on this one um, which is well it, it see it it goes all the way to it goes all the way into to the gusset so you can um, cut that even a little bit wider and that works really well too and you can and it's versatile too and how how big you want to make your uh, your spine and then then I was going to do this one with glue so let's see let's put this one on with glue and I'll put this one on like this and I could put it here that would make it a half inch or I can just overlap this one which I think I'm going to do because I think I want to keep this at a quarter of an inch gusset so I'm going to put that in there bring this over I'm going to glue the bottom of this pocket I'm going to put some glue on this tab and push that down and bring this over you could actually pull it out a little bit if you want to put a little bit more width to the inside of your pocket you could do that okay. and press that down hold that down oh, overflow there so it works equally well with uh, glue or score tape to make those two pages top loading pocket pages and there's your spine and there's no additional bulk down here you do have a little one overlap here but uh, I think that's totally forgivable so anyway this is uh, just um, just an idea to use it's uh, I don't know if this has been done before I've not seen it on YouTube but I haven't seen everything on YouTube um, and it may have been done 15 20 years ago or maybe three years ago but uh, it's the first time I've seen it and I uh, just want to encourage you to uh, to use it and uh, enjoy it and if you like it share it with somebody else and uh, happy scrapping. Thanks for watching. Bye.